Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I would like to show you how to use the Creeper control panel to easily uh, set up your own Feed the Beast server. It's very straightforward. Um, the first thing I'm going to do before I start though is I'm going to back up the current server. So click on backup, manual backup, backup. Now all I have to do is I have to wait until this is finished. Once it's done, it should let me know. At which point I'll be able to show you how to set up your own server. Today I'm going to show you how to add a custom pack that is available on the Feed the Beast launcher and then we'll be able to fire up Feed the Beast and we'll be able to launch into it and just show you that it's running. Now, it does take a little while to back up everything, uh, which is why it's taking a while. But once it's done, uh, I'll be back to continue with this tutorial. Okay, so the backup's now complete, so we can go ahead and we can reset the world. And then we can go into the software selection area of the control panel. And there are a lot of different options here. You can, you can actually install, you can actually install most of the TechIt versions that are available. You can't do TechIt custom packs, I think probably because they aren't as well regulated as the Feed the Beast ones. But we are going to be concentrating on the Feed the Beast private pack code, which is Magic Farm Skyblock. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click install, and then we're going to wait. And again, this will take a while. You should expect to wait uh, several minutes. Um, the, the backup was about half a gigabyte, so that was well, it was three or four minutes. So it should be pretty quick, but even so, you're gonna have to wait a while for it to install it. Um, again, it will come up with a message when it's installed. And there it is. Um, it's now complete, it's good to go. All we have to do is click Start Minecraft Start. And then we click Yes. And the server's up, and it is that simple. That is the easiest way I've ever seen to install a Minecraft server. Now, my next video will address doing it from scratch, and then the one after that will be about setting up your own mod pack and deploying it on a server. So, or that probably actually could be a couple of videos. So, okay, so the last thing we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and we are going to. go to feed the beast launcher okay there we go and it has loaded as you can see I am now on a server based version of this pack um, it's it's running nice and fast if I just show you I am getting Actually, I'm getting quite impressive frame rates considering I'm recording. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Thanks very much for watching, and goodbye.